the only measure of my success as president, when people look back five years from now or nine years from now, is going to be, did I get this economy fixed? President Barack Obama holds the record as the fourth worst economic president in U.S. history. However, he is the only president to have never attained 3% annual growth in the two terms afforded him by the American people. Obama also holds the worst legislative record in modern U.S. history, signing only 1,227 bills in eight years. As the clock ticks closer to President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration, this is what the outgoing President Obama had to say for himself. And having you in this building uh, has made this place work better. It keeps us honest. It makes us work harder. You have uh, in made us uh, think about how we are doing what we do and whether or not we're able to deliver uh, on what's been requested. Uh, you have been a strong supporter of the idea of a peaceful transfer of power mm -hmm. uh, demonstrated not terribly far from the uh, Rose Garden. And, and yet, even as you and I speak, there are more than five dozen uh, Democrats that are going to boycott the inauguration of the incoming president. Do you support that? And what message would you send to Democrats to better demonstrate uh, the peaceful transfer of power? I'm not going to comment on those issues. All I know is I'm going to be there. So is Michelle. And uh, uh, I have been checking the weather, and I'm heartened by the fact that it won't be as cold as my first inauguration. Because that was cold. Uh, we got more work to do on race. Uh, it, it, it is not, uh, it is simply not true that things have gotten worse. They haven't. Things are getting better. And I, I have more confidence on racial issues uh, in the next generation than I do in our generation or the previous generation. I think kids are smarter about it. They're more tolerant. They uh, are more inclusive by instinct than we are. Uh, and hopefully my presidency maybe uh, helped that along a little bit. Um, but, you know, we, uh, when, when, when we feel stress, when we feel pressure, um, when, when we're, we're just fed information that cur in encourages some of our worst instincts, we tend to fall back into uh, some of the old racial fears and racial divisions and racial stereotypes uh, and it, it, it's very hard for us to break out of those and to listen. Of course, Democrats will blame Congress and an imagined segment of the American people for Obama's failures, neglecting the key ingredient required of a successful American president. It's called awareness. And leadership requires that you are actually aware of the rational concerns of the American people, not the commands of a boardroom populated by a handful of foreign bankers. And I, when I said change we can believe in. I didn't say change we can believe in tomorrow. John Bound for Infowars.com. In case you haven't heard, Infowars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. Infowars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the Infowars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to Infowars.com forward slash app and download today. Today, InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You'll have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. If you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.